It's Ohio State and Michigan. Last week, Ohio State was upset by Wisconsin. So the legendary general, Woody Hayes, came out of the hospital to rally the troops. That's behind you. That's behind you. You always live by growing up. Well, that's what's going to take them all. Take it again, Joe Bow and his smart alley, and just kick the hell out of them. It won't be easy. What's ahead of Ohio State is a Michigan defense that has yielded only three touchdowns all season long. This series began before the turn of the century, and it hasn't cooled down since. We are live from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ready to go. The Buckeyes of Ohio State won the flip, and they said, we want the football. And that means that Pat Moons, the man who takes over here for his suspended teammates, will kick off to start this game. Telling Pat O'Brien that he's waited a long time for his opportunity, and Bo Schembechler gave it to him yesterday. We were in Bo's office when he made that tough but courageous decision yesterday, saying no one violates the rules on this team. And now it is up to Moons to handle the kicking chores. And a quick handoff to Cooper, the fullback, who followed the right side of that Buckeye line near the 20-yard line. Moeller and Mallory brought him down. And let's meet the rest of that Michigan defense. Mike Mallory, he calls the signals out there, taking it from Gary Moeller on the sideline. There's Gary's son. Now, excellent secondary. Garland Rivers at one corner and one of the best in the land. Number 30, Brad Cochran, whom they stay away from frequently. Back at safety, Ivan Hicks, number 17, and number 14, Tony Gant. Now, Mallory was shaken up on that last play. He's coming over to the sideline. A play fake. Byers out as a receiver is covered. Garcados goes long, but he underthrows, and it is intercepted. Hicks picks it off for Michigan. Sados had Taggart open early, but he threw the ball too late. He waited too long. I could see Taggart from the press box, but now he tries to throw too long. Taggart was open in front of the defenders much earlier than that. Ray Holloman, number 55, has replaced Ritter at one of the tackle spots. A fake to Morris. Harbaugh under pressure. Circles back, throws to Kolasar, complete at the 30-yard line. John Kolasar, the freshman from Westlake, Ohio, continued to ad-lib his pattern, and Harbaugh picked him up. Ad-libbing, of course, was Harbaugh. Watch him scramble out of here. This is why Ohio State was concerned about Harbaugh. Looks like he's going to be sacked right there by Lee, number 95. He spins out and away, finds Kolasar under pressure, and there it is, a completion. Great job by Harbaugh. And Harbaugh paid a price, Era. Take a look at Camaro, number 14, who is coming in from the linebacking spot. He's got a shot at Harbaugh, and he makes him pay. It is third and three. Double tight end for the Wolverines. Harbaugh on a bootleg to the right, throwing complete, and it is Caddis the tight end. William White with the tackle, but it's a Michigan first down, and there is Eric Caddis again, the Wolverine tight end. And good bootleg by Harbaugh. Third and 11. Harbaugh hits Caddis again, and he is brought out of bounds by Rogan. Here is Pat Moons, who today is handling the kicking chores. This will be a 34-yard attempt by Moons. It is up. And Pat Moons hits his first field goal. First collegiate field goal. He waited a long time for the opportunity. Byers and Cooper are the running backs behind Casares. 
Complete to Taggart, the tight end. Short of the first down, Jeff Akers, number 33, the outside linebacker. It is third and three. And here's Cooper picking his daylight and busting down to the 35 where Scarcelli brought him down. But that's another Ohio State first down. Lanise is in motion. And quickly to Carter with Lanise slipping outside. And Michigan was all over the play with Scarcelli, that outside linebacker, and Mesner, number 60, teaming up. And here's Cooper, and they are three of six. The ball got to the 30-yard line. Mike Mallory <laughs> staying at home and reading it well. The ball will be placed down at the 38. It'll be a 48-yard effort. Michigan leading Ohio State, three to nothing. We have 11:45 in the first half. It's tied at three. A 48-yard field goal by Rich Spangler. First down, Harbaugh will throw it. They set the screen to Morris. Fumble. Ohio State. Eric Camelo was there along with Chris Spielman who delivered the blow. Just got talking about Spielman and he does the job. A screen pass off to your left to Jamie Morris. Wait, Carbaugh does a good job of looking everybody off and then dumping the ball off to Morris. Morris tries to cut back to the inside. Spielman right there shakes the ball loose. Great job, great break for the Buckeyes. Let's take a look at this young linebacker with his best years still ahead of him. Roaming free, stepping inside Tabacino, delivers the blow, strips the ball, and Camaro pounces on it. Buckeyes ball inside the 20. Swinging to Cooper as they set the screen off the fake, and that is a first down, Ohio State. Here's Byers behind the right side, second effort, gets into the end zone, touchdown, Ohio State. Harbaugh handling to White, and he steps out beyond the 35. This is Perelman, and he powers out to the 42-yard line. Pepper Johnson tackling him. Here is White getting to the outside, bouncing again, and he is met by Gordon. Boy, good tackle by Gordon that time. Good support. Strong safety coming up. That's classic tackle in there. Straight down the middle to Caddis. He's all alone inside the 20. What a beautiful job of looking off a target. Harbaugh did that time. He forced the secondary away from Caddis, and it's a 40-yard gain. And he rifled the ball in there. There was no time for the Ohio State defensive secondary to respond to the ball. Caddis splits the two deep defense. There it is. It gets there very quickly right there. No one can react to it. Here comes Terry White over to make the tackle, but it was too late. Here is White trying to stretch the defense and turn it up. Short of the 10-yard line, he is brought down by Gordon and Johnson. <laughs> trying to avoid Lee, and he does. Harbaugh going for the first down is short of it. This will be a tough call by the coaching staff of Michigan right now. Milkish is 6'8", being covered by a much shorter defender. Harbaugh bobbles the snap, comes back, throws, touchdown Michigan. Sherrod White. The Wolverines move 80 yards in 11 plays. Michigan was very fortunate that time. It appeared that Harbaugh 
did not get the ball cleanly. I thought he had fumbled it for a moment. See the ball go clear up in the air. He feels it himself. And he was very fortunate to get the ball, but he did find the receiver and react beautifully on the play, Brad. And the Buckeye defense had this kind of a look. And Jim Harbaugh coming up with the ball, spotted wide open right in the middle. And the Wolverines and the Buckeyes are tied at 10. We'll be right back. Jimmy Harbaugh bringing the Wolverines up to the line. Play fake to White. Harbaugh to run. Slips down wisely at the 30. Jokic getting ready to come from the right side. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Caddis. He picks up where he left off. Another 17-yard gain by Caddis. And also an excellent throw by Harbaugh. Caddis driving. You see here Lee's trying to stay with him. Number 82, man to man, but he cannot. Caddis breaks away from him, and Harbaugh puts it right there. Caddis from Cincinnati, Ohio, has now caught five passes for 78 yards, and Terry White brought him down at the 47-yard line. They run Perriman on first down, and he blasts through close to another first down. Rogan and Johnson bringing the fullback down. Vital number 67 pulls. Look at the beautiful hole they block right at the point of attack. Let's take a look at that hole from another angle. Watch the blocking here by the right side of the line. And the backside guard, Vital, come across number 66 right here. 67, rather. And there you go with Perriman, number 37, through that hole. Second and short. Michigan can put it up here if they want. And they will. Throws high but complete. And the first down and... Gerald White slipping out of that backfield was a safety valve. Movement, but the Buckeye got back, and here's White. He has a seam. Coming out of bounds at the 31-yard line, and again it is Johnson and White being forced to make the tackle. Harbaugh straight back. Over the middle to Jokic, who is slapped down at the 20-yard line. Byron Lee meeting him there. Robbins puts it down at the 28, and the 38-yard field goal is on its way, and it's good. Making the most of an opportunity. Back in Ann Arbor, I'm Brett Musburger along with Aaron Parsegan. Seven minutes and 18 seconds to go in quarter number three. Michigan leading Ohio State by three. Harbaugh to throw it. Runs away from the pressure. And he is down at the 42-yard line with Gordon in hot pursuit. Kolasar inside the 30-yard line. And that's a first down for Michigan. Harbaugh looking for Kolasar. He's got him. First down, Michigan. 13 yards to the freshman wide receiver. Here is Perryman up the middle, and he explodes inside the 10-yard line. Schimbeckler keeping them honest with the fullback that time. Michigan has dominated this game offensively. This will be White. He's inside the five-yard line. And that should be another first down for the Wolverines. Now, it is second and goal from the five. Harbaugh. Touchdown, Eric Kellis. Dig uphill. Take a look at it from the end zone. Count 
Thomas will be in the left corner, but Harbaugh rolls outside the contain because Eisenman keeps challenging the line of scrimmage, which brings a response. And look at the people when he threw the ball between. Great job by Harbaugh. Watch Caddis, number 81. He slips through. They didn't seal him up at the line of scrimmage. Now as Harbaugh moves, Caddis cuts back toward the middle. And Harbaugh finds him wide open in the back of the end zone. Michigan's in command. Carsano straight back. He'll run. Now he throws it to Tigard. It's a first down. Ball to the 31-yard line. Ohio State trailing by 10. Here's Keith Byers, and there's no hole there. Harris, the nose guard, led the assault against Byers that time. It's third and 11. Carsanos trying to get away from pressure and closing in is Mesner. Number 60, Mark Mesner from behind tackles Carsanos at the 35-yard line. Ohio State elects to go for the first down. They trail by 10. They need two scores. Carsados pulls out. Down the middle for Carter. He's got a touchdown. Ohio State. It was fourth and 15. And Carsados goes 36 yards where Carter makes a circus catch. First and 10. And they run off right tackle. Gerald White, the tailback, and Ray Holloman met him in Eric. Rover on the blitz. He's open. Colasar. He'll go the distance. They won't catch him. You know, it's a little impossible to explain to you how loud this place is down here on the field. But let me tell you how big this stadium is. Last June, a guy named Jim Purell decided for a charity stunt to sit in every single seat. Brent, it took him four days, Sunday to Thursday. I don't know where he is today, but I'll guarantee you he's standing up. Let's go back to Brent. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Garzano's with a second and ten for the Buckeyes. Here's Big Cooper. And he busts out to the 47-yard line. Mallory meeting him there. Carsados under pressure. Fumble. Michigan signaling that they have it. The officials are unpiling them. It goes. To Michigan. They have recovered. The Wolverines have recovered this fumble. And that is Mike Mallory, number 42, getting up with the ball. Now, Moons has hit field goals of 34 and 38. He has replaced the suspended Mike Gillette. Two of two. This one for breathing room. 
missing. 336 and a breath of life for Ohio State era. Carsano is changing something. Gonna throw it. Under pressure from Scarcelli. Ball is loose. He was surrounded at the 45-yard line. Michigan will take over. Jimmy Scarcelli, number 85, leading the assault. Oh, I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> Cheryl White with a hole. Getting through for a first down to the 33. Off the blitz, they pitch to White. Inside the 30, and he's ridden down by Pepper Johnson. He'll come with Perriman for the first down. And the clock is running down on the Buckeyes. Bo Jackson and his Heisman Trophy, and the Wolverines are not finished yet as Gerald White slams inside the five-yard line. Johnson and Rogan bringing him down. But you can talk all you want about the bowl games. When Michigan plays Ohio State, that's the big one for these two schools. And White has had a great afternoon. 28 carries for 113 yards. You have to be thinking about the seniors right now on these two teams. Working for four years, and it comes down to these final moments. And there was Kolick slamming White, and the fans come onto the field here in Ann Arbor. Michigan has beaten Ohio State. The war will wait for another year. watching the final play. It's over. Schembechler and the Wolverines have beaten Ohio State. Just another day in the office as Alex Agassi comes over and congratulates Bo Schembechler. And our Chevrolet players of this game, from Ohio State, linebacker Chris Spielman. From Michigan, quarterback Jim Harbaugh. And a check in the amount of $1,000 donated by Chevrolet to each college's general scholarship fund. Let's go down on the field to Pat O'Brien. Pat? All right, thank you, Brent. You're about to lose another goalpost here, Bo. Who do you want to talk about first, your offense or defense? Well, I, our team has played well all year long, Pat. We've been very proud of this Michigan team. Um, they come to play every week. I can't say enough about them. It's been a great year coaching for me, and it's been a great year for 1985 for Michigan. What is it with this team? You have seen you quoted saying this team is very special to you. It is because I every single one of these guys have um, done everything they could to come back from that uh, dismal season of a year ago and we did it. Maybe we didn't win the title but uh, there are not too many teams better than us in the country. Jim Harborough had a great hot arm today didn't he? Well he's, he's had that right along. Uh, he's going to be a great quarterback and uh, he was great today. What do you mean going to be a great quarterback? <laughs> well he's coming back next year so we'll All right, let's get Bo, let's get Bo back to safety, back to Brent. All right, Pat. Thank you. And again, congratulations to Bo Schembechler and his entire staff.